Braves are rounding third on spring training down in Florida. Today they won 5-3 to three against the Tigers, led by Orlando Arcia and Michael Soroka's much-anticipated debut. And to get an edge this year, some of the Braves are relying on cutting-edge technology. Our Justin Felder has that high-tech story. Numbers have always run through baseball's history. RBIs, ERA, defensive runs saved, but pens, pencils, calculators, and the old eye test can only get you so far. You get a recreation of a player's mechanics. You can look at it in all three dimensions, any which way you want. To say, hey, this is what you feel. Now this is what the numbers are saying. It kind of is an aha moment. It really just comes down to what are your goals, and then how can we assist you in that? Go ahead. This is P3 Baseball. This is the game how most eyes have never seen it. Here in the hitting, we have force plates on the ground. You can see things such as your vertical force, your torque force. We have a pressurized plate in the back, so we can see exactly what pressure is in your foot. There are motion capture cameras, technology to track swings and pitches, and in the offseason, there were a bunch of raves. High school alums Sean McLaughlin and Tyler Krieger run the West Midtown facility, which they started after both stopped playing pro baseball. We were in the minor leagues for a lot longer than most people wanted to be in the minor leagues for us. I played with Bryce Elder and Freed and Strider, uh, Soroka. It makes it so much easier because they understand us as players because they've, they've been through it and they were just once players. So it's enough information to fill a flash drive for 20. Lucky for us, two of the Braves' best players were willing to explain what they figured out in the lab that they took down here to Northport. Motion capture can, tells you a lot, especially as a pitcher. Spencer Strider made regular trips down to the facility from his off-season home in Tennessee. What parts of your body are working harder than others. If something is in a bad position or improper movement pattern, you can see those things and try to correct them. For day-to-day -day maintenance, it's a big thing, just, just understanding why is this part of my body fatigued more than another part. Matt Olson's been sizzling this spring. Maybe it's because the guys who helped with his swing have been playing with him since high school. A lot of big things in baseball is path. And I was able to get in and, and kind of see some things with my path that I didn't like. Thank God he trusted us to kind of help him take a deeper dive into his swing. We've been able to unlock a couple really cool things with him. These kinds of data-driven baseball facilities are becoming more common, but there can be a divide between the numbers crunching MIT grad new schoolers and the go by your instincts traditionalists. I think anybody who knows biomechanics could look at the data and, and try to assess it, but having actually played the game, um, they're able to kind of figure out what is actually important to baseball and what's not. You have the old school guys and you have new school guys. The old school guys only want to talk hitting without using any of the data, and the new school guys only want to talk hitting using the data. We think we can be somewhere in between. They're somewhere in between new school and old school. But as these baseball players try a new career, they find themselves on the cutting edge of the entire sport here in Atlanta. In West Midtown, I'm Justin Felder, Fox 5 Sports.